Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome back to the channel. Man, we've got some great new evidence to show you today. In today's video, we're going to show you some of the very first Surfside Police body cam video that was released by the city of Surfside the other day. And it answers a lot of questions that we've had, folks. And it answers the question, what happened to the security guard? That's been my question since day one. Why haven't we heard from them? Well, here you're going to see the security guard being interviewed by the police right in front of the building there, just moments after it happened. I'm also going to show you some of the stuff that the news stations got wrong when they released this video a couple of days ago, some of the information that they were incorrect about here. So let's get right into it. All right, so one of the questions that I always had here was when did the very first police officers arrive? So with the three videos they gave us, this is the earliest timestamp right here. So here we are, June 24th, 2021, and it's 1.24 a.m. in 13 seconds. So this is just about two minutes after the third and final collapse of the building. That's the main collapse happened at 122. So they arrived about two minutes later and they were there for a signal 49, which actually means a fire alarm. And as we look back here on our detail of time, it actually took place, when did that call come in? Right here, cell number 33, row 33. It says at 1.16.39 a.m., central alarm. They got a 911 call from the alarm company. Now, this must be right after the second collapse, which happened here at 1.15 a.m., right? And so that is probably what broke that sprinkler line and what triggered the alarm now. However, we don't know of any audible alarm. Nobody said that they heard any alarms, no fire alarms. So it could have just triggered an electric alarm. Maybe there wasn't an audible alarm tied to the loss of the sprinkler water pressure. We simply don't know, but that's what we know. And so, by the way, this is a um, spreadsheet that was put up by the folks over at the engineering.com forums. And I was trying to find a person to give them the proper credit here. And oh yeah, here we go, prepared by I believe Maude Essen, I believe this is the person initiated this spreadsheet. So they, they basically did similar work what I did at the beginning where I just started kind of going through some of the press reports to see who was doing what and when. And, that, and that's how I originally built my timeline a month ago. I wish I had had this spreadsheet a month ago, but you can see it's been evolving over time as they've added, you know, almost down to the second and, and based it on, uh, backed it up with all of the different news articles here. So that's what we're using here. And everything so far seems to be coinciding correctly. Okay, so the first 30 seconds or so are just going to be him driving up and there's no audio until he gets out of the car. So he's going to pull up right there is 87 Park, right there, the condo next door. So he's sort of parked in between the two condos. How cloudy it is still. Right here, he's going up the main steps to the lobby. He's going to see it's blocked off. I don't know what's going on. I can't see. You guys okay? Is there anybody with injuries? Are you there? I'm receiving a 314 now. Reference a building collapse at 88 and Collins. 34. I'm a rival here. There's a lot of dust. I can barely see anything. I don't think the building collapsed. It looks like the roof and the drive through collapsed. I'm looking for injuries. Is anybody there? and fire is already around on us. Okay, so right here, you can see this is that soffit that the engineer was talking about repairing and replacing this is all uh, metal studs and wood sheathing and stucco and it fell down and the back half of it is is angled upward and it's blocking the lobby door right there see it so he's now he's on the porta coach here Now he's on the upper level parking deck. Hear the horns in the garage? Hello? Where are you? Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Is anybody down there injured? Okay, I'm going to stop this right here for a second because i got to show you something. I want you to take a good look at this picture, folks, because this picture right here just gave us four very important 
pieces of information, and it added one additional question for us as well, but it solved a one of the biggest mysteries of this entire condo collapse since the beginning, where I've been asking the following question, folks, and that is, what happened to the security guard? And we just got that answer right here, because this, ladies and gentlemen, right here is our security guard. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Shamoka Furman. She is our security guard, and yes, it is a she. So, for a while, we didn't really know whether it was a man or a woman, because some articles said... The witnesses said, I went down and talked to him. Other witnesses said, I went down and talked to her. So we didn't really know, and having never seen them or talked to them, we weren't sure. This is the security guard right here. That's item number one in this picture. And you'll see it in a minute when we start rolling the video again. But this right here is an older lady that she's trying to help out from the now sunken garage. So these two cars were up here on this level, and they crashed down. This is right above space number 48. And then this column right here is giving us the other information. This is space number 132 on that upper deck. This right here is the 87 Park, the condo next door. And this is the wall separating the two condos. And there's a walkway, public access to the beach here. Now, my question here is why was this cone here? Was there some particular reason? And it was obviously because, remember, this collapse is two minutes old right now. Somebody didn't just come here and put this here just now, I don't think. It, well, it does say reserved. So sometimes in parking spaces and garages, people will put their cone in their spot after they leave so that nobody will park there. So that could be what it is. Okay, so recapping here what we've got, we have the security guard right here, Shimoka Furman. We have the lady rescued by the security guard is right here. We have space number 132 on the upper deck right here on the right-hand side of the column. And this is directly over space number 48 down in the garage. To give you a perspective here by looking at the garage map, the police officer was standing right here on the upper level. Right in between these two columns, there's one column there and one column there, and he was shining his flashlight down on the security guard who was actually standing on top of space number 46. She was in between the cars right here. She was on the second car in on the upper level that had collapsed. So she had somehow found her way down there to go and rescue this lady. And so right here, folks, this is the very first sighting of the security guard. So you saw it here first of where the security guard was first discovered by the first responders that arrived at exactly 1.24 a.m. So this was about two minutes after the collapse. She said she somehow made her way into the back, crawling through a window or something here, down into the lower garage that had collapsed. What's wrong with her? Notice how you don't hear a fire alarm. So I don't know why he's going around. Go this way, go this way. The garage floor fell. This is the public access sidewalk to the beach. They're running down and down to the pool. What's going on? Okay, is anybody hurt? Is anybody in there? What? This is heartbreaking. You can hear all the people crying from the balconies. Stay up here. Bro, this is close. This is this is stable here. She was screaming, bro. Bro, she was screaming. You work here? No, I work in this building. This is a stable. This is here? Oh, what fell? Look, there's a hole right here. I can't see. I can't see that. And then the line was disconnected. Let's go over that way. We have to, we have to go the other way. Five minutes since the collapse at this no, no. point. The building collapsed. Fast forwarding, he's just running to the street. 
Okay. Hey, fire wretches here. Yeah. So there still aren't too many fire trucks arriving yet, which is surprising. So there still aren't too many fire trucks arriving yet, which is surprising. It's already six minutes. Okay, Jimmy, you want fire to check you out? There's the security guard. Right she crawled okay. away out. Are, are people? The, what they, they gotta get out of there. What collapsed? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, okay. Just hang out here. Do you see anybody down there with injuries? I didn't see anybody uh, with injuries. Okay. 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 It seemed like. What do you mean what collapsed? The garage, the pool. But if they don't get out. This, I just got the area. Okay, fire rescue's here right now. I got you. Just relax. I got you. I got you. Just got you. Okay. The first one, the garage the 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 and the pool. The second one, this right here. These ones are just collapsing right now. Hey, this is not safe. This is collapsing. I just was telling you. I'm speeding it up. He's doing more running. Hey, everybody. The back went out first. And this is this, this happened here. There's no fun here. Still active, so I don't know if the rest is gonna fall. Yeah, it looks like it might. Yeah. How far back do you guys? Once again, we are fast forwarding because he's just running across the street. We gotta close this off. Half of the back is gone. Go. Go. So the the out. Hey, listen, there's gonna be the the Figure out the collapse zone. Right you guys need to back up. Yeah. Yeah. She's gonna hit the fan. Okay. The whole set up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here I am fast forwarding it again because all the officer is doing, he's just getting in his car and moving it. There's nothing really useful here on this part of the video. So he's just moving it up the street a little bit. No, So he just moved about almost a block south of the building. Half the building fell. Can you check this building and see if you're going to evacuate it? Because we're all going to have to go. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So this is name is Aaron. 87 Park right there, that condo is actually in Miami Beach. So they have two towns working side by side on this. These are all the people evacuating out of 87 Park. Right here, 8777. I'm fast forwarding it again here because he's just walking the long block up the street back up to get himself positioned back in front of the Champlain Towers South condominium building once more. You can hear them screaming. Yo, turn around, go back. I was just in this building. Go, turn around, man, go back. Go. I'm trying to return this phone to, like, people from the... Do me the... a favor, right now is all the time. Half the building collapsed. Turn I around. know, I was in the building. Okay, I need you to go that way. We don't know when the other half is going to fall or where it's going to fall. Where, where, where's Craig? I don't know where Craig is. Mom, I gotta call you back. I'm building what I'm gonna have to do is just coordinate with whoever's in charge of fire because this is no. not a cluster. Yet. You hear that fire alarm? That's, that's not coming from the ship. Okay, okay, then we have to just get with fire. They're clearing the, the building here already. Oh, I call them to please. Miami Beach. They're building on their side. They're doing what? They're getting, they're getting getting people evacuated. Okay. Yeah, I know. Ma'am, go that way. Please go that way. That fire alarm is coming from the Yo, hotel buddy, next door. It's not coming please. from the Champlain Towers. I don't know. I need you to go that way, man. Guys, that way now. Not. Come on, get moving. We don't know if this is gonna fall this way. I need you to go, please. I'm just standing here because I understand. I'm the building president. Okay, but just, just please over there, okay? This lady is the building president, so we need to Okay. So basically, what they just told me to do is just block this off to work. Yeah. I have the beach on 87 Terrace. Fast forward while he walks to the next place. It's very frustrating to me that they have this hook and ladder truck here, and they don't have it up and trying to rescue these people off of the balconies yet. Their protocol is to wait for the uh, 
the TRT teams. These are the search and rescue technical teams. But they're going to take a long time to get there. Meanwhile, these people are screaming in panic for their lives Yo, right now. Let's get out of the box and start getting people out of the box. We don't know I'd want to be up there down. rescuing them. To, to heck with waiting guys, for guys, more equipment. Guys, you guys have to get off the street. That way. Come on. Are they, are they okay over there? You guys want to pour their back? Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. How far back do you want them? Are they okay over there? I told everybody that this guy's giving me a hard time. He's here. giving you a hard time. Yeah, he won't stop. He's keep trying to run over here. Where do you want them? Everybody in front of the fire truck. Hey! Everybody behind the fire truck and follow the fire truck right now! Let's go! And follow the fire truck! Please move in front of the fire truck! This guy Sir. wants to stop and take pictures. He just I won't understand. listen to the cops. I understand. You gotta move that way, man. Move that way. I'm fast forwarding it again because he's just walking across the street. It's now 16 minutes after the collapse. What's going on here? They want to evacuate this building. What do you guys need help with? Thank you. Everybody in this building. Everybody out? All right. Oh, it's a hotel, yeah. Can we get some guys to come help knock down the door? I'll help, the but let me get somebody else. Bro, you want to? Yo, you want to help me knock here, man? We got guys coming guy here coming now. Here. All right. We got guys coming now. You, I don't. You think that's this is the hotel down? across oh, the street. This is the hotel across the street where the tourists were staying that took that now famous and valuable video that we've been using. This is their pool deck right here. They heard the noise coming from the entrance ramp to the garage, which, remember, the building stood right over here now. So the building is gone. But they shot from here right across the road into the ramp of the garage where they saw all of the fallen ceiling after the end of the bottom of the ramp. I can't. Hey, were there any tower cranes north of, or south of here? Tower cranes, you remember that? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I thought a crane came down, down on it. A crane fall on it? No, that's what I was wondering. No, 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 no. I haven't heard anything about a crane falling on this building. I know it's very old. Wow. Wow, that's a major freaking that's crazy, man. Well, there's people right there. Yep. No, this is crazy. We can't even get close to it. No. I went in. I could, when I got here, I couldn't see anything. There was all this stuff everywhere. Yeah. I started running in and I almost fell in a hole. In the parking garage, half of it is gone. We didn't, we didn't hear that the building collapsed until we got to this corner right here. Ma'am, I need you to move that way. That way. Again, I'm going to fast forward through this part. He's just sort of milling about. He's crossing around, going across the street. He's going to hook up with the other officers on the other side of the corner. Uh, 
It's now 20 minutes since they collapse. When I got here, I thought, I don't know, I was like, I thought it was See them waving the flashlight? Right here, see that balcony right there? They're waving the flashlight. This is actually the end of this particular clip, but yeah, this guy up here kept waving the flashlight. I would be freaking out if I was these people up here because all I see from up there is a bunch of cops and firemen standing around. I'm like, why aren't they coming to get me? So yeah, they were panicking big time. See, I don't like this protocol of waiting for the TRT team. This reminds me of the Columbine shooting where the police all stood around outside waiting for SWAT to arrive. Meanwhile, you know, calamity is already occurring inside. So watch. Here's where Channel 6 gets it wrong. But five minutes later, Surfside officers are inside the lobby looking to help anyone get out. A stream of survivors comes down the stairwell to safety. Out, out, let's go, come on. See, they were completely wrong there. They were in the hotel next door, evacuating the hotel. Those were not streams of survivors coming down from the partially collapsed Champagne Tower South condominium. Those were actually the guests of the hotel across the street that were being evacuated because they evacuated both buildings on either side of the fallen towers. So a number of news channels had actually gotten that wrong. All right, now this second clip starts about a minute later. This is another officer arriving, and he has a lot of the same stuff going on, so I'm only going to show the important stuff. Like we have the interview here with the security guard, the information that we've all been dying to hear directly from the security guard's mouth. We're going to fast forward through a lot of the redundant stuff and just show you the, a couple of minutes of the meat and potatoes from this particular clip. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Nice. We're still trying to make our way to the okay. eight seven terrace and Collins. Yeah, and um, if we could have anybody from Miami Beach can uh, get 15 with us as well, please. What happened? You work here? No, I work in this. Oh. <laughs> Do you see anybody want to go with you? I didn't see anybody with you. Okay, perfect. It seems like when you need a flat, the garage, the pool, but if they don't get out... They want to respond to the area of the class. They're looking for people with an area of possible injuries. They're advising it's extremely smoky in the area. They only have two. Hey, this is not safe. This is not safe. I just I just was telling you. We gotta talk with Fry. Guys, get out! Hey, then we're gonna have to see what's up with blocking the road, then, man. Yeah. Seventy-five and forty-two. Show you around, also. I'm a city man from. I'm a city man from. I was in there with my family. <laughs> what, what, what happened, bro? I'm 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 on penthouse twelve, which is all the way at the top. I'm 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 on the I'm on my phone with my. Sorry, man. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to catch my breath. I'm on my phone on YouTube, and I hear I hear something like fall, like I heard like something fall. Not a big deal. That was something in the apartment. All of a sudden, I hear like it's a jet right through the front of my balcony. So I get up, mm -hmm. I'm like, was that a plane? Because there's planes that come by here. And something told me, let me go, let me tell me why I stay there. No, the whole back is gone. The buildings are now, hey, listen, there's gonna, you need to figure okay. out the collab zone. You guys need to back up. Because gonna hit the fan. Okay. The whole side, that building's an L. Okay. The whole, this side right here, the whole thing came down. Okay, okay, okay. You all right? Appreciate it, thank you, sir. Thank you. Get those 
Three eight, Kiske. I'm still working as best as you can. Just stay quiet. We're receiving different calls from different apartment numbers from people advising them to rent inside their apartment. All right, Kiske. So we have rescue here, a few officers here, and there's some residents in their building. Um, just trying to coordinate with fire and everybody else that's arrival. Yes, I'm sure you. And advise if you need a tech channel. I don't know if that'll help with fire. I don't think they have our tech channels, but you do have Indian Creek and route, and you also have Day Harbor Island and Dow Harbor. Okay, greatly appreciated. Craig! Oh. What I'm going to have to do is just coordinate with whoever's in charge of fire because this is a little bit of a cluster here. It's a giant cluster. That's Miami Beach over there. They're blocking off traffic at 87 Okay, okay. Then we have to just get with fire and it's see what we're going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure who's in charge for you guys, but we're... we're just keep everybody in front of the fire truck, everybody behind this fire truck, everybody behind your police vehicles. That's okay. the perimeter. Nobody in. I don't care who okay. they are. Is there anything we can do? No. I, keep everybody out. That's all you can you do. You got it. You got it. Alright. Uh, per fire... For the fire chief here, they advise just have uh, PD hold uh, traffic and pedestrians just outside of the little perimeter we have going on here. Okay, what's the perimeter so I can advise? So far we have 8800 block Collins, uh, south to 87th Street Collins, and then west uh, from Collins to Harding. That's what we have so far. Yeah, that's true. Guys, I need to get off the street. Can I have a unit respond to 8800 block of Collins? Reference keeping traffic and pedestrians out. Kiso, thank you. Can I have another unit that's assisting Surfside response to 87 in Collins? Reference keeping traffic and pedestrians out. That came. Okay, well, right, no, hold, hold on, hold on, right, right, right now, right now, listen, listen, all right. right now, we were, we were told, you're fine, calm down, listen, listen, we were told by rescue, not even we can help right now, so they're, they're coordinating something to help get everybody out, please, I, 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 I understand, I understand, but we're, we, we have to do whatever they say, can, can I have her go into the, into the, into the, in, to the shop. I mean, if if, if you if you could give I I'd have to go get it. But if if if, if you want to call her, go ahead and call her. But I can't let you go in there. All right. Thanks for coming. She's a security guard. So. Yeah, I was there. Uh, I was sitting oh. down. Are and you? I heard... Were the only one in the front? Yeah, working? I'm the only one there. Okay. So I heard a boom boom, but I didn't hear no. Did boom. they? Let me ask you a question. Have they been working on this building lately or anything? Have they been doing anything? To be honest, I worked overnight. Okay. I worked overnight. This never happened. I didn't even think we have earthquakes. I don't even think this. I don't even know what this was. I don't know what's going on. All I know is it was a. I, I honest to God, I thought it was an elevator because no alarms went off. So when the lady, it was a lady, came from downstairs to say, "What was that?" Anybody else, if you know specific apartment numbers and geographic locations, will be nine ten. Do we have? I don't. I don't. I don't have no no papers. I, I no no no. You have it on your phone? No. Can you open up a note? No. All I know is that you have a notepad. I can get my, my one. My phone yeah. literally yes. messed up trying okay. to uh, escape that. I will get a note. So when I heard the big boom boom boom. You don't, have, you don't have a, a notepad to write no, down? Keep I, going, I'm sorry. The lady come downstairs and was like, did you hear that? I say, that's the elevator. She said, no, no. So the second one came. She ran outside. And that's when I got on the phone. I called you guys. Okay. Immediately. All right. I'm, I'm so going to get a notepad. That was, now, I'm minute, notepad. now, minute. 
Once again, I'm zipping through this part here because this poor cop, he just kept going back and forth between his car and here and there. Now he has to go get a notebook. Let me remind you once again, folks, that fire alarm that you're hearing is from the hotel across the street. It is not from the Champlain Tower South. The whole building is without power right now. And they might be backup battery for their fire alarm, but it's not going off anyway. And we still don't know why. Okay, now this third clip here, I'm only going to show you just a couple of snippets from it. Because like the other two, it's, it's got a lot of the same stuff. But this cop got some much better video of the rubble pile seen for the very first time. And also you'll hear some of the blood curling screams coming from the balcony. It's just very scary. noticed this earlier in the other videos but you notice how the fire alarm light is flashing here on the back of the building but there's no sound captain hey we uh, the Champlain Towers the building it collapsed the, the Champlain Towers building collapsed the back part of the building collapsed I'm gonna need uh I'm gonna I'm gonna have to contact Healy to get down here too. Okay. Okay. Uh we don't know. It just uh somebody hurt somebody they heard a loud noise and it just uh it just came down. Fire, fire rescues are on their way. This is huge. I mean, humongous. South side, where? From where? Uh, from 87. What's this? 88? From 87? At least down to. Uh, what is this? Eight nine to eight to eight six. That's a lot of old people there. Yeah. A lot of old people there. Yeah. Most of us that's occupied on this side right here. So whatever you guys see, let me know. I'm there with my family. Let me. Let me I have to pull out. But I need to come. That back part that collapsed. How many people do you think were in there? I want to say I, at least, I, 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 I probably a uh, forty percent of that side was filled. Weird. Where were you, where were I you was sitting, ladder, sitting right here. Okay. So I hear a boom, boom, but I'm thinking it's the elevator. No beeps or nothing goes off. Another boom, boom come. That's when, that's when um, I heard a brrrr. So that's when I immediately, the lady, when I, went, when I heard that, the lady heard that she ran outside and said, the, 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 everything collapsed. I say, get out, get out. I called 911. And I stayed in there. Everybody was keep calling and keep calling. I have to stay in there. Quite naturally, I'm going to stay in there and tell everybody, get out. I can't, you know, knock on everybody's door. So everybody that's calling, get out, get out, get out. The next thing you know, I'm telling them to do it. A second cup, come down. If the lab, I, I don't even know how I made it out. I don't even know how I made it out. What's your, what's your name? Shimoka Furman. I don't even know. You have your... I don't even know. Shamoka S H A M O K A S H A M O K A F U R M A N. Next thing you know, I I, I try to go out from this way. I, I think see, oh, I see live wire just sparkling in the air. So I say, oh God, help me, help me, help me. I, I, What's see, your date of birth? Zero five here. Here's my identification. Okay, that'll help me. 
because you were probably the the first one to hear probably anything. But to be honest, no. You're, well, you're the. I, I, I think when I if I did hear when I heard it, I everything. thought it, yeah. When I when I heard it, it was I felt like it was the elevator. The second time it would go. The lady walked out and said, "What?" And that's when I say. She's security guard, so. Yeah, I was there. Uh, I was sitting down. And Are you I heard, were the only one in the front? Yeah, I'm working? the only one there. Okay. So I heard a boom, boom, but I didn't hear no. Did boom. they? Let me ask you a question. Have they been working on this building lately or anything? Have I, they been doing anything? To be honest, I worked overnight. Okay. I worked overnight. This never happened. I didn't even think we have earthquakes. I don't even think this. I don't even know what this was. I don't know what's going on. All I know is it was a. I, I honest to God, I thought it was an elevator because no alarms went off. So when the lady, it was a lady, came from downstairs to say, "What was that?" All your police, that they need to not walk on that side. Everybody's got to. I have my. I have my yeah. guys here. If they can get on the radio because there's like four cops that keep walking on that sidewalk and cannot be there. Okay. We're waiting for a full TRT collapse assignment to arrive. It's going to be a while. I know. We're okay. just trying to keep these people calm. If they know people that are in specific apartments, and you can gather that, I know I have 1111. Anybody else that we know specific apartment numbers and geographic locations will be nine ten. My phone literally yes. messed up trying okay. to uh, escape that. I will get a note. So when I heard the big boom boom boom, the lady come. No, I don't have a, a notepad to write. No, I, I wish I did. The lady come downstairs and was like, did you hear that? I say, that's the elevator. She said, no, no. So the second one came. She ran outside, and that's when I got on the phone. I called you guys. I'm so gonna get a, I'm getting a no that was now middle now mind okay. you mind you mind you sir that was the second one I in the, now that was the second one why I'm on the phone is a third one I had to the third one messed up all this right here the front and the uh and the purse I tried to leave out of so I literally had to leave from to, from the back uh the back cool door and I jumped across and I had to jump across that uh, that garage right there because the garage collapsed right there. Four kids or two kids or whatever I think, I'm not mistaken, two kids and a, and a man and a woman and an old lady. I end up helping them across. But I, I don't even know how I made it out of there through the grace of God. Okay. I, I can't even do this type of stuff anymore. Here, come with me. I think the, uh, here she is. Let let her uh, just talk to her. I'm gonna go talk to the officers okay. over here. Where okay, so where, where's the fire department? Where are we doing the command? The fire, the fire right here. Well, fire department stays right here. They're gonna they're gonna they're bringing people out for. Uh, okay. Have anybody on the incident. beach walked off? So, yeah, the beach. Uh, beach has Miami the beach. beach. Miami Beach has that. So, okay, so and let's then, talk together. Let's get a scribe. Who's gonna be at the fire department command post? And then who's gonna be over there? to start jotting everything down. Obviously, we can't go in the building. No. Okay, but we need to get all these folks. Uh, let me get someone to the community center and start evacuating people. This can go down at any time. I yeah. know. Uh, Nobody said it was an explosion or anything. We didn't hear an explosion. No, we didn't hear anything. Oh, we would have heard it. From, okay. I was, we were right down here. We didn't hear any explosion or anything. In order for our first line to be able to interact with you, we would either have to use Miami Beach Entrance Link 1 or 2. Which one would be better? Stay, stay back. Stay back. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, hey, Healy, Healy's going to review stage at the fire, and you just get all the notes you can, okay? Just okay. take notes. I'll do a radio check now. Do we have, who else coming after this shit? Huh? Who else coming after this shit? Or who else south, whatever is south. Me? I just, just, yeah, yeah, whatever. Dude. Hey, if that's true, you can try the other one, because that's our main child that you're yeah, on. Yeah, this is, this is one of the craziest calls I've ever been on. Okay, thanks. Uh, this is insane. This is like, dude, well, I, I hear. Shows, man. Yeah, man, so do I. Well, I've chopped down about 60 minutes of video down to about 35 minutes, including the commentary and everything here. So um, I don't know. Let me know if you want me to just make one video that just puts all three of them together with no talk at all, just so you can see from end to end the longest set of videos that are currently out there right now because everybody else has chopped them up also. So I hope you found this video insightful and it certainly answered a number of questions for us as to what was going on at the beginning. So anyway, if you like this, hey, give us a thumbs up down below and then make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of our other great videos, right? And be sure to check out this playlist over here that has more of the videos related to this condo collapse. And then try this other playlist over here that has a lot of our great remodeling videos for you. Well, thank you so much for tuning in tonight, folks, and we'll see you 
on the next one.